Hi everyone, this is Lucky Iris here, and this is Nancy Drew Ghost Dogs of Moon Lake. So, the last time we left off was when the dogs just attacked the house, and it was very interesting. I gotcha! Oh, I won't. Hello? Hey Sally, it's Nancy. Nancy, hi, how's it yeah. going? Talk to you later. Bye. Well, I know that I have to call her for the spark plugs. <coughs> because I've looked everywhere and I can't find any. It's driving me freaking nuts, so I'm just gonna call her. But I haven't checked the. Looks like paw prints. Yeah. The boat's full of water. The spark plug is missing. Sally, it's Nancy. Nancy, hi, how's it going? Your outboard motorboat is missing a spark plug. Is there one around here by any chance? I wouldn't know a spark plug if I swallowed one whole. But you need that boat, Nancy. Right now, it's your lifeline. You can't use your car, and believe me, you can't walk anywhere because all the paths around the house end in this thick, horrible brush. You've got to get it fixed. Wait a minute. The bird watcher, he's got a boat. Maybe you could borrow his spark plug or something. Go down the path that's to the right as you look out toward the lake from the house, and you'll eventually see his observation platform. Try him at night. He never seems to be around during the day. Talk to you later. Bye. I just hope I don't get my face eaten off by dogs tonight. Really, not looking forward to that. Well, it's Miss Nancy Drew. Please, just call me <coughs> Nancy. I will if you keep your voice down. I just heard a cerulean warbler. Really? Are they rare? Something tells me they're gonna be with you around. You didn't come up here to chit chat, did you? Do you know much about outboard motors? Sure do. Only type of motorized vehicle that's allowed on Moon Lake. Heck, if it were up to me, I'd ban them too. Have everybody get around by canoe. Nothing like the threat of physical activity to keep tourists away. Why don't you like tourists? I came to see birds, not people. The more people there are in a forest, the fewer birds there are. It's a fact of life. Reason I like to come here is because nobody else does. It's perfect. Not a decent grocery store, restaurant, or motel for miles. There's no place nearby that sells boat parts? Sally's outboard is missing a spark plug. I might be able to help you out. After all, I was a Boy Scout. Be prepared. <laughs> you mean you have a spark plug I could buy? Well, just so happens I've got two spark plugs right here in my pocket. 
question is, if I give you one, what do I get for it? I don't need cash, but maybe you could take a few pictures for me. Know how to use a digital camera? Okay, one. What was up with the little app? And two. You better explain yourself quick, buddy. Or I'll hit you with this. I thought it was a paddle for a second. So. Sure. What would you like me to take pictures of? Birds, of course. There's a couple of birds I'm supposed to take pictures of for Pepsob. That's people for the preservation and study of birds. You can recognize them by their songs, which are on this tape, which you can play on my cassette player, which you're going to have to get from M's Emporium as soon as you get your boat fixed. <laughs> Think you can handle that? Sounds good. Here's everything you'll need. M's Emporium is up lake on the west side. Not that I'm trying to get you out of my hair or anything, but try not to come pestering me till you're done, okay? One more thing. You smoke? Uh, only when I'm on fire. Oh, you're a spunky one, aren't you? Well, these woods may not look it, but they're tinder dry. One lit match, and the best bird habitat on the east coast will go up in smoke. So watch what you do, because if anything like that happens, I won't be looking for birds anymore, I'll be looking for you. Watch yourself out there. All right, goodbye, weirdo. Uh, can't get out of there any faster. <coughs> Damn. See, I, I like sleeping through this time. Ew. Disgusting. I don't know what the heck that means. Welcome to M's Emporium. I'm Emily Griffin. My name's Nancy Drew. I'm staying out at the old Malone place. You know, the house Sally McDonald bought. Now what's she doing inviting guests out to that old dump? She's got a little problem she's hoping I can solve. But right now, I need a chainsaw. A chainsaw? A tree fell down in the driveway behind my car, and now I'm blocked in. I'll get Tucker Davis to take care of it. Gotta warn you, though. Tucker tends to do things in his own sweet time. So how come Sally ain't with you? The ghost dog scared her off. I told her. I said, Sally, that old house is gonna be nothing but trouble. And sure enough, Malone's hounds have come back. Just when we all thought they were finally resting in peace. <coughs> Have you ever seen the dogs? Nope. Don't want to, neither. Just hearing them howl's bad enough. Scares the bejeebies like out of me. I don't like the burn man. Why? I don't know. When was the last time they appeared? Seems like they show up every time somebody buys the place. So the last time would have been a 10, 15 years ago. What can you tell me about Red Knot? The bird watcher. 
comes in every so often to stock up on that weirdo food he eats. You know how them tree hugger types are. It seemed to me that he was more into watching birds than hugging trees. Yeah, well, whatever. One thing's for sure, he's gonna wind up with a dose of buckshot in his hind end if and he keeps tramping through people's yards making noises like he just popped out of a UFO. Mr. Knott did me a favor, and in return he asked me to pick up a cassette player from you. Oh yeah, I got it right here. Thought maybe the old coot had forgotten he left it here. Give it. Give it. What else can I do you for? Where do you <coughs> find your... Uh, uh, Bless you. It's all the dust. Sometimes I think it grows on this stuff. Some of those old bottles are beautiful. Where'd you get them? Found them. See, back in the days of Prohibition, that old Malone place used to be party central. Only way to get to and from back then was by boat. And when those boats dumped, on account of bad weather or bad driving or the feds suddenly showing up, while well, everything from diamond necklaces to full bottles of illegal booze sank to the bottom of the lake. So, it's finders keepers, huh? That's right. See, recovering objects from the lake bed is illegal. According to Squeaky Wheel Acres, dragging the lake for artifacts was upsetting its delicate eco-balance. So thanks mostly to his constant squawking, the state banned it. Squeaky Wheel Acres? <coughs> Chef Acres, local park ranger. I keep telling him all this stuff washed up on shore. But does that snobby little stickler for rules believe me? Sounds like you aren't real fond of Ranger Acres. Jeff Acres could take all his precious rules and regulations and take a flying leap. Now I got nothing against getting more customers in here, mind you. But I kind of like Moon Lake the way it is. Small, quiet, out of the way. But Jeff Acres, why there's nothing he'd like better than to see all the lake and all the property around it turn into one big noisy jam-packed state park. Why would he want that? He's the type of guy who likes to boss people around, makes them feel important. So if the park got way bigger and was crawling with tourists, why instead of giving out maybe one ticket for littering every two days, he'd be giving out one dozen tickets every two hours. He'd be in heaven. Well, hey, I'm sure you got better things to do than getting your ear chewed off by yours truly. I need to buy something. You want it? I got it. As long as you pay cash, that is. That's just it. I'm running kind of low on cash. Would it be possible to start a line of credit? My daddy always said, neither a borrower nor a lender be. But I'll tell you what, seeing as how you're a friend of Sally's, and seeing as how I got some things around here that could use doing, I guess we could work something out. What is it you need? Do you sell sandpaper by any chance? I do, but Mr. Birdbrain was in last week and cleaned me out. Said he was tired of that observation platform of his giving him splinters in his hinter regions. Think I could get some from him? He's your only hope, but you better ask him for it quick. That deck of his is pretty big and those squares I sold him are pretty small. Guess I'll see you later. You betcha. Well, I like her. She's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Ew!
I probably shouldn't mess around with this without Ranger Acre's permission. Hello, can I help you? I'm Nancy Drew. I'm visiting the woman who bought the old Malone place, Sally McDonald. Do you know her? Sally McDonald? Yes, I've had occasion to write her up once or twice. You find her for something? She littered. Food items, as I recall. An apple core, crust of bread, something like that. She tried to argue that the animals would eat them, but litter is litter. And besides, feeding the wildlife is also illegal. Sounds like you take your job very seriously. Being a park ranger can be a thankless job, Ms. Drew. But I know that every time I enforce a rule, I'm helping to preserve some plant or animal, however minute, for future generations of park goers. What do you know about the pack of dogs that's been terrorizing Sally? They've scared her so bad that she's gone to her aunt's in Philadelphia. Don't tell me she believes all that ghost dog stuff. So you know the legend? I know almost everything about this area. Not only have I lived here all my life, but you're standing in the unofficial Moon Lake Museum of Factual and Natural History. I'm its equally unofficial curator. Would you mind mailing this letter for me? Not at all. Do you have something I could use to test the well water at Sally's? Sure do. Simple to use, too. Just pump some water into this vial, return the sample to me, I'll send it off, and in a day or two you'll find out whether or not your water's fit to drink. Do wells go bad very often? Mm, depends on when they were dug. The older they are, the more susceptible to contamination they are. Would it be okay if I looked around? Please do. And if you have any questions, any more questions, just ask. Thanks for all your help. Always a pleasure. Oh, and one last thing. The deer mouse population has boomed this year, so please take precautions if you're cleaning out any area where they may have nested. They can carry some nasty diseases. Thanks for the tip, Ranger Acres.
I need a bucket. I'd better wait until daylight. You find all the birds? I'm sorry to keep bugging you, but I need some sandpaper. Emily said you might have some. Here, take it and scram. I was just about to call in a meadowlark. That was always Ruth's favorite. Was Ruth your wife? Good heavens, no. My wife had no patience for birding. Ruth was my dog. Border Collie. She'd hear a meadowlark, and by golly, her ears would perk, and she'd cock her head, and she'd just come as close to smiling as ever a dog could. Was she the only dog you ever had? Yep. Wouldn't be worth the hassle anymore. Especially now that I'm retired and spend so much time at Moon Lake. The place is surrounded by park land and Ranger Acres just loves enforcing the leash laws. There it is again. Take your sandpaper and go... sand something, okay? Boards. Watch your... <laughs> oh, dang it. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Wow. Alrighty, well, that was Nancy Drew, Ghost Dogs and Moon Lake. And I want to go cry in a corner now, so <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Bye.